remember when I was testing Active Track with this and it crashed? Well, the gimbal wasn't right ever since then, and so I've replaced it, but there's a problem. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if this kind of video is useful, then hit that subscribe button below for more tutorials and tips just like this. But anyway, for years, we, the consumers, have been replacing parts and fixing our own DJI drones, and generally it's gone without a hitch. Now, my little Mavic Air 2 did crash during a test of Active Track, really pushing it to its limits. And although it came out of the crash fairly unscathed, the gimbal just hasn't seemed right ever since. I felt a little bit adventurous, and so I thought, Let's replace it. Spare parts for the Mavic Air 2 are really not easy to find, but I rang my buddies over at Sweedrone and they sent me a new gimbal so that I could test replacing it. I followed a really good teardown guide that I found online, which showed me how to take apart the basic drone and get the gimbal out. And to be quite honest, it was so easy. It consists primarily of removing this lower cover and then removing a few screws in here, six of them in total, and then the whole gimbal unit pulls out as well as the tiny little connectors under here. So that was very, very easy. I then turned on the drone, all excited to see whether or not it was going to work, and that's where the problem became very clear. The gimbal calibrates as normal, but then when the drone has finished its startup, the gimbal seems to point off about 20 degrees in the wrong yaw direction. Now clearly it's not flyable like this, so I tried everything. I calibrated the compass, I calibrated the IMU, and also the gimbal itself. But despite all of that, the gimbal insists on pointing all that way off in the wrong direction. Now as part of the gimbal calibration, you can even manually set the yaw, but the maximum that you can set it to is 10, and that's still not enough to make it point in the right direction. Not only that, but in the app, you also get a gimbal IMU error, which basically is suggesting that the gimbal now attached to the drone doesn't meet the gimbal that was originally shipped out with the drone, and therefore it flags up an issue. I also tried reflashing the firmware as well, just to see if a factory reset would do the job. It didn't. That's when I read about a rather complex procedure that you need to do after replacing the gimbal on your Mavic Air 2. In fact, even replacing one of the arms apparently may need this procedure. It's not very simple to follow, especially if you don't work in IT. And so in this video, what I'm gonna do is talk you through the process as simply as I possibly can to get your gimbal working as it should. Just one more reminder, if you find this useful, hit that subscribe button and comment below if it worked for you. Okay, so to start off, we need to install Python, which is a basically a programming language. And as soon as this is all finished, we can uninstall it. Now, links to this are in the video description for the Windows platform. Go to the website and immediately just click download the latest version here. And once that's downloaded, select the EXE that's downloaded and just install it. Now, the first thing to do before we do that is to tick add Python 3.9 to path and then just click on install now. Accept the Windows security prompt that you may see appear and just click yes and then wait for that to finish installing. As mentioned, as soon as you finish doing this, you can uninstall it via the regular Windows add remove programs prompt. When that's finished, click on close and we can now carry on and install the next piece. This again is linked in the video description and it's called PY Serial. So click on the tar.gz file and download that. Now it's also worth noting that you will need WinRAR to unzip this. So install WinRAR, which is the program you can see here, and it looks like that. Again, links in the video description for WinRAR as well. But once you've got that, we need to extract it. Now what you need to do on your computer, in your C drive for example, you need to right click and create a folder called DJI. Just in the root of your C drive, very easy to do. Then go into that folder, and what we're going to do is extract the contents of that PY into that folder just simply by dragging it. So there you end up with on your C drive a DJI folder and then you've got your PY serial inside there. You can then close that WinRAR window and then the final element here is the piece, the DJI tools. So we need to go again to that link in the video description. You'll see this once you go to that link. Simply click on code and then download zip and that will download the whole lot for you. And again, all we then need to do once that's finished downloading is open it up and it'll open up a compressed folder like this. You see here that we've got the folder for DJI tools. Go into that, 
highlight all of it and drag it again into the same DJI folder that we created on your C drive. And it will eventually then look like that. We can now close our web browser windows because we don't need those anymore. And what we're now going to do is open up a command prompt. So if you click on your start menu, type in command, and then right click on the command prompt result and select run as administrator. That piece is very important. That will then open up another Windows security prompt. Just click yes in there and the Windows command prompt then opens. So the first thing we're going to do is install the PY serial script that we downloaded. You do that by first of all going into our DJI folder. So you type CD backslash DJI and then we type in the command to install PY serial, which looks like that. Once you've typed it, hit return and that will install the script. Once it's completed, you'll get a confirmation as you can see there, finished processing, all looking good. Now at this point, you'll need to actually plug in your DJI drone, but before you plug it in, make sure that you turn on the drone first. Wait for it to fully boot up and you'll hear the little audio sound and then plug it in via USB cable into your laptop. Once your computer recognizes the drone, you'll hear that usual Windows beep. What you then need to do is go into Device Manager. So again, click on the Start button, type in Device Manager, and then open up the result that you'll see there. Once you're in Device Manager, you then need to drop down the bit that says Ports. And there you'll see your drone. Now our drone is connected via USB serial device COM5. Make a note of the COM port on which your drone is. Now there's a really important step here as well because this script is to cater for multiple drones. Now to make sure that you use the right code, go back to your DJI folder, right click on the file called com.og underscore service underscore tool dot py. When you've right clicked on it, select open with and then browse for notepad. So you click more and select notepad. And within that file, you'll see in the source code, scroll down a little bit, and here are all of the codes that you need to remember. Now, we are using the Mavic Air 2, and therefore the code we need is WM231. But let's say, for example, you're running this process to centralize the gimbal on another drone, the Mavic 2 Pro. Therefore, you would use WM240. So the important things that we need to remember are COM5, and WM231. What I recommend doing is opening up another notepad file to note these important elements down in. You can then close that file, don't make any changes to it. Next, we're gonna enter the two important command lines which are going to hopefully fix the gimbal on the drone and get it working as it should. The two strings we need to enter look like this. However, you need to replace the COM port element with whichever COM port your drone is attached to. In our case, it's COM5. We'll do that now for both lines. Then the model you need to replace with the model that you're replacing specifically. So where we've got model here, I'm going to type WM231. That's for the Mavic Air 2. We need to put that in both lines and we now have the lines that we need to input. You can now copy the first string there and go back to your command prompt and paste that string in by doing Control plus V. Then press return and keep your fingers crossed. And just to emphasize, you do this at your own risk. Once you've done that, you'll notice the gimbal on your drone doing what looks like an initial startup. And after it's done that, it should be pointing perfectly forward, but we've not finished yet. We have one more string we need to enter Again, just as with the previous line, copy that and paste it in. And that's it. Now you may have noticed that we actually saw an error message here. However, it doesn't matter. The gimbal is now doing as it should and it's pointing perfectly forward. However, after entering the second command, it will go through another initialization and calibration. So just wait until the drone has completely finished that and the gimbal stop moving before you have a big smile on your face. Now, while the gimbal is now pointing forwards at least, the problem is that the errors when you start up the app are still visible. I'm still investigating to work out how to get rid of these, but I believe that it relates to the serial number of the camera sensor and that the drone isn't seeing the camera that it expects. 
However, the drone is still entirely flyable now and the gimbal's pointing in the right direction, so that's a massive leap forward, and I will put out another video once I have an update to get rid of those other errors. There have been a lot of steps here, however, I have put links in the video description, and I'd suggest watching this again and pausing it as you run through this process yourself. So there you go, finally my Mavic Air 2 is working as it should and expect a whole new load of videos from this little great drone coming very soon. Comment below with your thoughts about this process and if this process worked for you. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're a wonky gimbal. And click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.